guys this is Vero and in this video I am going to demonstrate how you can add galaxy effects or basically glowing effects to your images you can use them as logos or you can use them on your social media profiles or just for fun so let's get started I have selected an image if an image is like this with having a, a light background it will be easy to use so I have selected this image first of all we need to go to tools and then go to crop tool and then crop the image as much possible because we just need the face here so i'm just cropping the face okay that should be good after that go to fx effects and then go to colors go to black and white and you can adjust the effect here okay that looks good i'm going to i'm not going to keep it proper black and white go to this Screen. in this mode basically you can see a little more detail in his and his face so yeah that looks good to me okay and after that go to draw so first we need to adjust each layer go to layers and one empty layer is already there fill it with white color after that move your main layer to top and click on transform and then you can rotate the layer rotate the face basically as you want so I like it that way yep that looks good to me click done and then again go to layers and click on photo layer and then choose a galaxy effect or a glowing effect basically I'm going to choose this one for now then in blending options go to screen and then transform the layer and adjust the image as it looks good to you you can adjust it as per your need yeah i'm going to keep it like that once you are happy you can click done and then you again go to photo layer and select another glowing effect i'm going to select this orange one here click done go to blending option then screen then click on transform i'm going to place it near his beard So yep that looks good then you again go to photo layer you can add some more effects so let's add this 
let's say yeah this one here then again below depending of your screen and click on transform You can transform the image as it looks good to you. If that looks good to you, click done and then you can adjust the opacity of the layer so that it doesn't look over affected so that it doesn't have some over effect on the your main image because we want bit of details also so around 69 is good and then for this one mm, 82 is good so once you are happy you can click this take arrow here to save the image or if you want to add more then again go to photo layer and let's add this the red one here let's add this one blending option screen same process basically and transform Let's have this red effect. Yeah, good. So like that and then click OK and to make it look better you can add some FX effects and basically try to change the background to some other color on which the logo really stands out so the gray one is good you can play with the options here and adjust as per your need whatever looks good to you like this gray one this one is a bit darker you can fade it like fairly 25% if it looks good done and like that you can save I hope you like the video please subscribe to channel for more videos thank you guys bye bye